I want you guys to really pay attention today. Uh, today is a day you don't need to take notes. Just put the paper away and really dial in and focus on what we're talking about. Because I'm going to ask you to get inside your minds. I want you to get inside your imaginations. I want you to think different. And I want you to think as big as you can possibly think. One of the things that has been on my mind for a while now, and, and I'll define a while, let's just say more than a year, is changing the way that this game is played, the game of real estate, okay? When you think about real estate and you go back over the last 40 years, for the most part, we're doing the same thing today that real estate agents were doing 40 years ago. And we're doing it the same way. And, and I keep thinking there's got to be a better way. And there's got to be a better way that leads to more success for more of us. And when you look at, I'll give you one example. If you study uh, the high jump in the Olympics, you know, prior to somebody doing the flop, and, and I forget, you could put it in the chat if you know it. it Pillsbury or some <laughs> Pillsbury is the doughboy, right? Uh, there was, prior to that, there was a, an accepted way that you would perform the high jump. And everybody did it that way. And you went over face first until somebody discovered that actually jumping with going back first, you could jump higher. And now if you watch the high jump in the Olympics, everybody does it that way. In other words, they found a new way to do it that was better. So the question that I keep asking myself, is there a better way to do this? Um, and I'm going to keep asking that question until I find the answer. Now, there's a question that I want to lead today with you. And that question is, are you doing the best you can? Yes or no? Are you doing the best you can? Now, when you ask most people that question, most of them are going to respond with, yeah, of course I'm doing the best I can. Fair enough. I'll give you that. Then the follow-up question would be, are you doing the best that can be done? What's the difference? Fosbury flop. Boy, I was close. Pillsbury. <laughs> <laughs> Pillsbury flop, flop would be cooking something in the oven and it's a flop. <laughs> All right, sorry, my sense of humor. Uh, are you doing the best you can? Yeah, I am. Are you doing the best that can be done? Well, that makes me stop and think. And, and remember, most of the time I'm having these conversations with you, I'm having these conversations with myself. So, you know, I'm never going to ask you to do something that I won't do. Uh, I believe leadership is doing, it's not talking. And, and one of the things that's a real turnoff for me is when leaders start preaching, here's the right way to do things, and they don't do them that way. So I'm never going to ask you to do something that I'm not willing to do. I'm asking myself, am I doing the best that can be done? I'm a trainer, I'm a coach, I'm a recruiter, I'm a team builder. Am I doing the best that can be done? The answer is no, I'm not. There's even days when I would say I'm not doing the best that I can. The next question I would ask myself is why? So most people who are doing the best they can do, but this is really important, pay attention to this. You know, I'm, I'm one of those people who listen and I listen between the words and I look for the message that's not being said, okay? I'm giving you all the clues and hints you need right now for you to be able to hear what I want you to hear. Most people who are doing the best they can, especially if they are among the best at what they do. See, there is a danger point when you get to a place where you're the, the best, number one. OK, you get to this place and you stop asking yourself questions like, am I doing the best that can be done? Because when you're in that position, you're, you're so focused on the fact that you're you're successful. You're the best. Why should you ask yourself a question like, am I doing the best I, that can be done? Because you're already number one. You're already number successful. 
Real estate agents get caught in this. Companies get caught in this. Real estate companies get caught in this. There, there's, a chance, there's a problem that exists with winning in this game of king of the hill, because once you've won that game, now what? And my answer is there's still something better out there. We haven't found it and not going to stop until we find it. All right, so most people are doing the best they can, especially if they are among the best at what they do. However, however, they're not even remotely aware that a significant amount of territory exists. A significant amount of territory exists beyond that which they have already achieved. Am I doing the best that can be done? Though most of us are judged to be performing to the best of our ability. In reality, the results of our efforts are invisibly restricted by three things. All right, here they are. The things that restrict us are what we know about the most accomplished people, living or dead, who have ever done what they want to do and the best results they have ever achieves. So translated, we're judging our results based on other people who have done what we're doing and the results that they've gotten. And by doing so, we're determining our level of success based on others who have come before us. We're accepting that based on this, 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 scale in which we measure ourselves, we're doing okay. We're doing better than okay. We're doing great. We're doing above average. The results of our efforts are invisibly restricted by three things. The second thing is what we understand about how it is traditionally done. What we understand about how it is traditionally done. This takes me back to the beginning of the conversation. If you look at the real estate industry for 40 years, we've been doing this business pretty much the same way. We've all accepted with a few changes, this is just how it's done. And my question is, does it always have to be that way? Is there a better way that exists that somebody hasn't discovered yet? Could it be you? My vision is that every real estate agent, who gets into the business has a goal that they want to accomplish. And, and the saddest thing for me is that most don't. When you look at NAR statistics, 75% of real estate agents who get their license in 2023 will be out of the business in less than 12 months. 75% fail ratio. And then you look at the 25% who made it. Uh, what does that mean? They, they made it. They, they continue to be a real estate agent, but does that make them successful? No. It, again, if you look at NAR statistics, what's the average number of homes that are being sold by the average real estate agent? And listen to that because when, when, when I was sitting on recruiting appointments and I'm talking to new agents, okay, one of the most common questions they would ask me is, What's the average production in your office? And I always wanted to ask them, why are you asking that question? Why are you interested in what the average production is? Do you plan on being an average real estate agent? And if you don't plan on being an average real estate agent, why are you asking me what the average production is? A much better question would be, what's the production of the top five real estate agents in your company? That's my goal. That's where I want to get. Matter of fact, I want to get someplace that doesn't exist yet. I, I still believe there's a better way to do this. I still believe there's a result that we haven't discovered yet. The third thing is where we believe our own abilities measure up to the first two considerations. Where do we measure up in reference to the first two considerations? You know, we're constantly judging ourselves based on what other people do. You know, for those of you who have taken bold, which is a lot of you on this call. 
Don't judge your insides based on somebody else's outsides. You're looking at them and you're seeing what you believe is success and what you don't realize is you can't see what's going on inside. And, and what's going on inside could be you've got a person that's terribly broken, who has self-doubt, who lives in fear of, am I going to hit my quota this month so I can pay my bills? It, you don't know what's going on inside. You think they're successful and in reality, they would tell you they're not. So are you and I doing the best we can do? Um, yeah, that would be true. But are we doing the best that can be done? No, not even close. And that's the truth. We are not doing the best that can be done. I'm never going to change that opinion because I believe there's always a better way. And I believe that and hope that you will join me in, in, in a search for finding that better way. And for anybody who thinks this is this is a this is a broker conversation, 100 percent it's not. This is a broker agnostic conversation. I, I've told you before, and I'll tell you again, and I'll tell anybody who wants to listen to me. I, honestly, I don't care. And I've been with two real estate companies now, three, and Keller Williams, Remax, and now the XP. And honestly, I really don't care. One company better than the other, don't care. Here's what I care about. I care about you. I care about your success as real estate agents. You're the people that I train and coach. You're the people who I pour into every day. I care about your success. When I'm talking about finding a better way, I'm not even referencing that one brokerage has found a better way over another brokerage. I'm simply saying I want you, every single one of you, to do the best that can be done. Think bigger. Think possibilities. So many of us are living in fear because we're in darkness and we settle for staying in the fear we know versus that taking that leap of faith that could potentially lead to a bigger, incredible life. Because the fear of what we know is comfortable versus the fear of the unknown. And we choose the fear of what we know. We choose to stay in the darkness when light is a possibility. All right. Talk to me. <laughs>